pieces or how do you, how do you think important is this kind of expo in terms of showcasing the innovation at the grassroots level? Well, I think it's just really uplifting. Uh, I think here in the Philippines, uh, I mean, I've been to every province, and you can see how local communities are really discarte. Uh, but in this case, too, it's a discarte, they're just leveling it up now and applying more science and technology to make it very usable all over the country and all over the world. So it's very just uplifting to see, and it makes you a very proud Filipino. So, how's your experience here at the NSDW for the past few days? What have you learned so far? What have you learned so, so, I just got here yesterday, but I mean, having seen a lot of what the DRC has been up to, especially the past five years. Uh, it's been really interesting, very very cool. Like I went to the Centennial Arena uh, and when I went there, for example, you see the different umbrella agencies. So uh, let's say I went to the FPRDI and you look at my goal. Like, oh, what's this? And they developed, for example, uh, school desks made with engineered bamboo. But then they're also not just that. If there's a typhoon and you have to turn uh, the school into a relief center, the desks actually transform and flip and become beds. You know, so the DOSC and, uh, and like local Filipinos are really thinking outside the box of what can be really helpful in society. Or I don't know if you guys saw yesterday they put up the first bamboo waiting shed. Uh, or I don't know if you went into the hybrid electric train. Uh, you know, so it's just it's it's been really fun and it was really really great. It's seen a lot of youth and a lot of young students. Uh, visiting these different exhibits or expos or like here today at JICE and giving themselves this kind of new mindset to think outside the box and to, to see if they apply themselves or study what they could possibly create. So I think this whole kind of thing really plays really well into that kind of discarding ingenuity side of Filipino culture. What I love most about the Philippines? Well, Filipinos themselves, but I think uh, I think it's just the idea in the Philippines we don't really say no. It's like there's no we can't do it. It's more, wait a minute, we're going to figure this out and figure out a way to do it. And I think that's what you're seeing when you come to these kind of things that the DUSC puts on. Is that, hey, look, you know what? We're not going to just waste this tire. We're going to turn it into something that can be really cool. Or, you know what? Our house is, is sinking. Now nah, we're going to make it float. You know, Filipinos, that's, that's what really gets me excited. It's like this, this yes attitude will figure it out. Philippines and this particular group focuses on the grassroots uh, different areas. So how much is important that the government is focusing or giving funds to have this kind of inclusivity and have a fighting chance for them for whatever technology that they have? So I think what's really interesting is, uh, especially being somebody who's traveled around the country the past 12 years and seen the growth of technology nowadays, and especially with media, you know, how we can all kind of, I think, probably nowadays, you can go almost anywhere in the country to these very, very rural communities and they're online, they're connected, a lot of them see Facebook, right? So what's really nice is nowadays uh, seeing the government go into these rural communities and also help them develop and then also give them opportunities to share on a national level and possibly get more funding or more support, or not even just national support, but international. You know, you have the UNDP coming in, or you have, uh, there's I think ADB, and the different, these kind of organizations that can come and help fund and develop, I think it's really positive. Also, I mean, let's just be very honest and blunt, uh, it's been very tense lately, right, in the Philippines. And I think what's really nice though, I mean, even, it doesn't really matter what side you're on, what matters is when you look at this, uh, grassroots is an all around the country thing and it brings us together. So I think this is a very positive thing for Filipinos to latch onto and grow together uh, as a country and as people, regardless what side of the fence you sit on. Or, you know, it's just very, very an uplifting thing that can bring us together more, which I think the country really needs.